Ah, photos. They're like films that don't move. Some of them are of lovely things, like wedding days and cute cats doing amusing things for the sake of an overpriced poster with a motivational quote slapped across it like, yeah, today is yesterday from another point of view. But some photos contain oddities and horrors that never should have been seen. Some photos capture moments that no pair of eyes should have been forced to witness. These are scary pictures that simply shouldn't exist. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Number 10. The Time Traveler. This photo was taken way, way back in 1941. See if you can spot the slight outlier. That one guy definitely doesn't look like he's from the 40s. With his modern clothes, haircut, shades, and camera, what do we have here? Is this the most fashion progressive man to ever walk South Forks Bridge in Canada? Or is he a real life Doctor Who? A real rogue time traveler? Is he Steve Rogers taking a break in the middle of returning the Soul Stones to enjoy the sights? Many people have dubbed this guy the time traveling hipster. Apparently, just because he's wearing a cardigan. Debate centers on whether the image genuinely shows a time traveler has been photoshopped or is simply being mistaken as anachronistic. The time traveling hipster became a case study in viral internet phenomena in museums, which was presented at the Museums and the Web 2011 conference in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's nothing necessarily scary about this photo, but we don't know that for sure. What's scary about this photo is that if this is really evidence of a time traveler, what exactly was he up to? Time travel is tricky business and should not be toyed with lightly. Messing with time travel can have disastrous butterfly effect style consequences. Just look at me, I meddled with the time stream once and now I'm my own grandma. Who knows what terrifying things this man's meddling may have caused. Maybe the creepy unexplained phenomena you're about to see in the following four photos were brought about by him cracking the timeline. Now it's time for the rare topic. We follow a lot, and I mean a lot, of blogs dedicated to paranormal and extraterrestrial activity so that we can find awesome stories, clips, and photos to bring to your attention. Some of these blogs are already pretty big and well known in their own right, but some of them are a touch more niche and underground. We found this photo on one such blog, but, and to be honest here, we don't exactly remember which blog. The photo was downloaded onto one of our computers by an ex-employee who was sadly no longer with us, and we have struggled to track down the origin of this photo. It's a tricky photo to wrap your head around. It takes a good few tries to really understand what's going on, and the blurriness doesn't exactly help. But at the very least, it seems to show some kind of figurine, whose hands are stained by blood or barbecue sauce, eating the head of an individual who's way too calm about what's going on. And even stranger, the eater seems to have consumed the head of the willing victim in one whole gulp. Do you know what's going on here, and can you help us re-remember where we originally found this photo? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic, and we might pin the best comment in relation to this image. And now to the next topic. Number 9. Ghost in the Mirror. In the early months of 2015, Sayaka Yamamoto, former member of NMB48, posted a photo to her Twitter. Ordinary so far, young pop stars are always posting photos to Twitter. For some of them, it's a more important part of the job than making music. It was a cute little photo of the young star tucking into some Strawberry Daifuku accompanied by the tweet, Today is the night together, Strawberry Daifuku and Kishino. But mere minutes after the tweet launched, her army of fans caught something in the photo that Yamamoto had not. Take a look at the mirror, the window at the back of the room. If you look closely, the mirror seems to show a person sitting in the empty seat next to Sayaka. But this makes no sense. Because in real life, outside of the mirror, the seat is clearly empty. In the mirror, the seat is taken by a strange, long-haired figure, but in reality, it is completely empty. According to Japanese folklore, mirrors can sometimes reflect images of spirits that have unresolved energy, ghostly entities that are trapped in limbo. Maybe Yamamoto's exit from the band didn't go down peacefully. Maybe the other side was disturbed in the process. A lot of people sell their souls to make it in the world of music. Maybe something went down and this is a sign of that. Several journalists contacted Yamamoto for further comment, but she declined to elaborate. Does this mean she knows what's up and is too scared to talk about it publicly? Or does she think it's nonsense and doesn't want to humor the people who believe in it. Could this Japanese pop star have really captured a spirit on camera? Is this a soul lingering in the room trying to make contact? Number 8. Eyelines. 
from one creepy mirror reflection to another. This weird photo was posted to Tumblr by the user Hearts Hiddles a few years back. At first glance, nothing seems to be up, but the trick to spotting what's strange is to focus on the eyeline. In the photo, Hearts Hiddles is showing off a quilt she has made to the camera, and quite rightly, it's a nice quilt. But look at her reflection. With her head turned to the face of the mirror, how is her face visible in the reflection? A debate quickly sparked up as to how her reflection could be facing that direction. There are several paranormal legends surrounding creepy mirror activity. The question is, if this photo is truly as worrying as it seems, which of the legends is at play here? One myth is that a broken mirror can damage your soul. Another well-known legend is that ghosts live inside mirrors waiting to attack. Is that what's happening here? Is Hearts Hiddle's reflection not her true reflection? Is it merely a ghost taking her form prepping for an inevitable attack? Those more into scientific solutions as opposed to horrific ones might postulate the notion that this has nothing to do with the paranormal. What if mirrors serve as a doorway to another world? What if the girl we see in the mirror is not the girl as her family knows her, but a parallel version of her looking in on our world? Is it a parallel world that was created by the time-traveling hipsters meddling? Some called the image cursed or haunted, saying the young girl might be a witch. The more skeptically minded pointed out that there was a more reasonable answer, the shop of photo. And yes, perhaps. In fact, the theory could be leveled at all the photos in this video, so video over. Which of these photos worries you the most? And do you think they're genuine or have the Photoshop wizards been at it again? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time. Just kidding, we've got 10 minutes to kill just as much as you have, so let's keep going. We could assume all of these are Photoshop, but there's a chance they're not. And isn't that more fun? And if that's the case, what exactly is happening in this photo? Number 7. A Stiff Pose this next photo is scary for a whole different reason to the others on this list. This photo shouldn't exist for a whole different reason. This photo shouldn't exist not because it defies the laws of physics or challenges what we think we know of the spirit realm. This photo shouldn't exist because the man in the photo is doing something really strange and disturbing. You may think this is a perfectly ordinary photo of a nice, handsome couple. A guy, a gal, all dressed up, taking a nice snap for posterity. But there's a deeply morbid twist. The woman is dead. This is a man posing with a dead woman's body that he has dressed up to look nice. He's even given her some lipstick. But rather more disturbing, this was, for a while, something of a regular practice, particularly in Victorian England. Photographs of loved ones taken after they died were a common way of commemorating the dead and a way of alleviating some of the grief. By modern standards, it may seem rather morbid, but the past is a terrifying place. Remember when we used to burn innocent women alive out of fear that they might have been a bit magic? They would go the whole hog just to make their deceased loved ones look nice for the photos. They'd be dressed in their best clothes, they'd be given a nice haircut, all in the name of making it look like they were still with us. People would pose with dead bodies like it was an ordinary family portrait. What's most terrifying about this is stopping to think about all those Victorian photos you may have seen in the past. How many photos did you see in textbooks during history lessons at school? How many photos have you seen in History Channel documentaries you've watched? How many photos have you seen online in articles you've read or videos you've watched about Victorian England? How many people in those photos were actually dead and you had no idea? How many of those smiling children were corpses being propped up by their parents. Sometimes it's not the paranormal that's terrifying, it's the past. Number 6. Goblin in the Ravine You've possibly seen this photo before. It first made like someone beating up sports equipment and hit the net way, way back in 2014. But if you have seen it before, it's worth looking at again. And if you haven't, you're gonna wanna check it out. It's actually one in a series of photos taken in a ravine near the Great Wall of China that seems to show a real-life goblin-like monster. For obvious reasons, the person who posted the photos chose to remain anonymous. All we know is that he was a Chinese tourist camping in Huero, Beijing. According to his account, he wandered off from the campsite and, in that moment, noticed the strange-looking creature squatting on a nearby rock. He could not believe what he saw. And of course not, could you? Quick as he could, he prepped his camera phone and snapped the images. There's been much debate about them since, and many people think it's possibly photoshopped. But even so, it's a darn good job if it is. When local news outlets contacted the witness, he said, I walked far away to have a pee and suddenly saw a monster. For whatever reason, he didn't explain what happened next, but we assume he walked away. 
When the photo set did the social media rounds, people were quick to dub the monster Gollum from Lord of the Rings, or even Dobby the house elf from Harry Potter. Whatever it is, it's ugly looking. Chinese mythology does feature a goblin-like creature known as a Lagit. Could this be a real Lagit? Or is this a hoax? And if it is a hoax, is it one that was achieved practically or via Photoshop? Number 5. The Skunk Ape in 2000, a woman who lived in Florida took not one, but two pictures of what she claimed to be a skunk ape in her backyard. She sent the pictures to the Sarasota County Sheriff's Department as proof. The woman included a letter with the pictures asking the sheriff to check it out. We're not sure how long the creature was in her backyard, but clearly she was scared if she asked for help. The sheriff's office didn't publish any findings where the skunk ape was concerned, but... <laughs> Most people who live in the area and have seen the pictures think it's just a regular black bear. In case you don't know, skunk ape is another word for Bigfoot. People in Florida call it different things like a swamp ape, skunk ape, or Florida Bigfoot. Number 4 the Falcon Lake Incident In May of 1967, a man named Stefan Mikolek was in the Falcon Lake area up in Manitoba, Canada. He was there to investigate possible oil veins in Whiteshell Provincial Park. He took a short vacation there and was camping outside. He said he was outside watching the stars one night and he saw a strange cigar-shaped object floating in the sky. He said as the object approached, he could hear voices coming from the entrance. He tried to talk to them in English, hoping they could respond and let him know who they were. They didn't answer him. He then tried to pick up pieces of colored glass that was underneath where the object was hovering, and he said it was so hot he burned his hand. Nobody was ever able to explain what happened to Mikolek, and the story remains a mystery to this day. Number 3 Amityville Ghost One of the most haunted houses in America is the Amityville House, located at 112 Ocean Avenue in Amityville, New York. It all stems back to a family murder that took place in 1974. Ronald DeFeo murdered all six members of his family. He blamed it on demons who had taken over his brain. Families who lived in that house after the murders all claim that the house is haunted. There have been books written about the house, uh, several movies, and at least one dope rap song. Three years after the murder, paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren visited the house and took some photographs. They didn't show anyone the pictures for almost three years when they appeared on the Merv Griffin Show. In the picture, they caught what looks to be the ghost of a little girl right by the first floor stairwell. Although some claim the photo is of one of Warren's assistants who was dressed like a child, most people believe this is the real thing. Number 2 Night of the Living Dead This one comes to us from Loonberg County, Virginia back in 2012. This trail camera captured what looks to be not one, but two zombies. They're coming out of the woods. They have white eyes and appear to be screaming. If you look closely at the one, it looks as if flesh has been ripped off his chest. Now, we know if you see a zombie, he will always have flesh coming off his body. Now, most people don't believe in zombies. <laughs> And these pictures do look like they could have been staged, but there's no way to be sure. It definitely looks like something out of a movie. You can be the judge, but we won't be walking this trail at night anytime soon. Number 1. Bizarre Ritual These two pictures were taken from a very remote trail, more than five miles from the nearest house. It's a small clearing in the woods. You can see what looks like a person kneeling down, almost as if in prayer. In the second photo, the figure is standing up as if they had completed their ritual. Now, what is someone doing out in the middle of the woods in the middle of the night praying? Why did they pick this spot? Was it some bizarre ritual? Or was someone just out for a very late night stroll and decided to thank God for their daily bread? We're not sure. We'll let you be the judge. Are you the kind of person who likes to go hiking at night? Have you ever wondered what they might catch on those trail cameras? If so, check out our other cool videos and let us know what you think.